guys, welcome back to Motograph World Channel. Greeting as a new face, my name is Shin Zhou Eun and today I'm having a concise look at a electrified Genesis GV70. The overall appearance and design of a new electrified GV70 has not shown much change from the previous model. Let's look at the front part first. The color is pure white, and with a little bit of mix of gray and black in between, it creates more elegant imagery. The front fascia, as you can see, the two headlamp in between remains the same and also a very voluminous bonnet also remains the same. However, the luxurious grilled part, especially the air intake, has been replaced by the battery charger since this is an electric car that needs to be fueled differently. Now, we're gonna take a closer look at a side profile. I'd like to first mention the identical customary design that has not been renewed in the electrified GV70. First of all, since this is a coupe line, the surface, as you can see, kind of tilts over as it goes to the back. This is a fully equipped model, acquiring 265-45R20. The rear is almost identical from the previous model, except that since this is an electrified model, the exhaust tips have been removed. I'm going to look at the closer look at the tail lamps. Tail lamps, uh, just like the front, has two splits in between, so it kind of creates this luxurious appearance. The trunk is operated automatically by pushing this button over here. It takes about 2-3 to three seconds to open it up fully. Since this is a coupe-like design, the back part is slightly slanted. Unlike other big SUVs that could acquire relatively big amount of packages, I think this model cannot obtain a very big package. And since this is an electric car, there is a charger um, inside and out. So if you see uh, behind the net on the side of the trunk, there is a bolt that you can plug in your charger. And since this height is not that low, I can sit on here very properly and have some relaxing picnic. Moving on to the texture and comfort of the seat, the cushion itself is quite comfy um, which means the cushion is not that thick or soft it's right in between the middle and the lumbar support is fully adjustable frankly speaking i really like the steering wheel the texture of the grip the sense of grip is very very comfortable i have a medium sized hand and as i grip this around it kind of wraps of perfectly so when i'm driving i think i'll be in a very relaxed position the overall interior design seems to be very lucrative in comparison to other German models that I have experienced. It creates very luxurious imagery as it occupies two mix of color, blue and white. According to Hyundai Genesis, uh, it has been stated that this color is ocean wave blue. But I have made some mistakes while I'm filming this too. But I think this color is more similar to black instead of blue. So if you're thinking of a dark blue or a sky blue that we see normally, you might not like this or be satisfied with the color that came out with. Even though this part seems quite big um, and large, there's not much of a storage that I can put in for materials. First of all, let's look at how many space we have for the water bottles. We only have two space for the water bottle, so I guess a one for the driver and one for the person sitting next to. But on the side trim, another board, the water bottle to fit in. So if I open it up like this, the storage is not that huge. I was expecting to see the storage that goes up all the way to at least to the middle part, but instead it kind of stops right here on the side. What I really, really like about this car is that it includes numerous features and options that I can choose out of. Now let's first look at the infotainment screen. Infotainment screen is touchable and it can be also operated manually through this button over here. I think this uh, overall operation, the system, is quite similar to the Mercedes-Benz. And I really like how the color is gray, so it kind of stands out more um, than just having black and white. 
I think this car has a great mix of digital and analog inputs. For example, as you can see here, the climate part, you can dial it um, by moving it around, simply moving it around, rolling around. But you can also touch the screen over here to make the temperature difference. Also, there is many different key features that you can choose out of from the touch screen here. It says there is some air for the driver only. And also there is a air circulation system um, that is a very special part of this car. And also there is a heat pump system. So if I click here, the heat pump system has been started because electric cars need to save a lot of energy during the winter. So this system allows the car to manually to best maximize the use of the energy overall. If you click the drive button over here, there's three different types of drive mode that you can choose out of. First, Echo. Second, Comfort third sport and lastly you can customize your own and make it as a highlight I guess and if you push the right side of this button depending on the road condition you can choose snow mud or sand first of all the softness and the texture of the cushion is identical to the front I'm not that tall legroom seems to be sufficient however for people who are taller than the average they might have hardships let's move on to the headspace as you can see, my head almost touches. So if you're taller than 5.5 feet, I think you will easily touch. Fortunately, this car has the climbing um, second row seat. So if I just press the side and tilt, I can comfortably rely and have much comfort. Uh, since this car is an electric car, the center kernels have a very low height. Today, I had a trial ride with an electrified Genesis GV70. This car includes a lot of features that gave me a very comfortable drive through and riding style, which I would definitely spend my extra money on this. Please do not forget to like and subscribe our videos and I am more than welcome to take new comments so feel free to comment down below and I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching.